Hello everybody. <coughs> Once again, welcome to Cat Mac Online Free Education. Uh, today, in this series of videos, we would like to design a horizontal axis wind turbine in the SolidWorks for mechanical and electrical, also for energy engineering students. Uh, here is my name, and these are the picture of the assembly of wind turbine that we would obtain at the end of this series of uh, design. Uh, okay, let me to introduce the components uh, for you. Here's the base or construction of the wind turbine. Here's a lower mast, an upper mast, that both of these two create the tower of wind turbine. In our wind turbine, we use three blades, are connected by hop to the nestle, and the power of the wind turbine transmitted by a shaft to the gearbox, and from the gearbox to the shaft of the generator, and the generator produces electricity. The first thing that we have to do is that uh, design all of the components uh, separately and then assemble them all together in the assembly environments. So the base, here's a, some drawings to help you draw all the components in the part environment of the SOLIDWORKS. So here's a base, all the dimension has been, uh, sorry, have been determined, okay. This is a lower mast. This is the upper mast, as you see. This is the hub. Very nice. And this is the nestle. Then the, this part is pretty complicated because there are lots of detail are in. Okay. I will let you know how you can and draw all these components in the part environment of the SOLIDWORKS. This is the blade. For the blades, as you see here, we need one plane, two, three, four, five plane here. And then uh, on each plane, we have a sketch. This is a sketch on the second plane, a sketch on the third plane, a sketch on the fourth, and a sketch on the five fifth plane is a point okay and then loft all these sketches all together okay okay and then after that there is a generator on the generator simplified generator has been created by us okay and here is the generator gear look at that and here is of course the generator shaft as you see the length is 81 millimeter and let's go on the main shaft is here the main shaft is here the main shaft uh, as you see uh, has a length of 95 millimeter here is the shaft gear here is a brake disc Here's a swivel shaft. This shaft connect the nestle to the upper mast because we would like to skip yaw control. We wouldn't like to model yaw control in our wind turbine. Okay, and here is the assembly environment. Okay, there is no any more detailed information for because these information are, I guess are enough to draw all of these components. So now let me to go to the SOLIDWORKS. Okay, you need to okay come to the part, and this is the part environment. I draw I draw the component uh, previously. Now I will show you the steps of uh, drawing. The first one you have to on the top. Plane, you have you need to have a sketch and 
and draw a square with the length of the hundred millimeters and then you have to use the fillet you can use the sketch fillet here with the radius eight millimeters the four side of the uh, square okay okay and then after that you need to extrude it from the blend nine me nine millimeters let me to is isometric okay that's right okay after that we need to come into the front plane create a sketch on on the front plane we have to create this drawing inside here okay 20 point uh, 60 there is a line and there is a horizontal line this is a slope line and all the dimension are determined here and then after that you need to create a central line from here to here from the origin okay and then you come into the feature okay and you need to uh, use revolve base okay so let me to get out from here and then you have to revolve there's no any special information just you have to use axis of revolutions this spill line this uh, center line and okay that's it the next one is going to be let's see uh, okay for this one this sketch is a little bit important okay um, let's create some circle like this pattern one two three four five circle with the same radius or same diameter and four semi hole like that with the radius of 6.40 millimeter uh, and these positions you have to use some relations to make all this drawing black and uh, select uh, all these circles expect the center one for a cut extrude through the whole body okay like this let's see like this look through all those and sketch plane like this okay but the center one and then after that i would like to use the center circle central circle to cut extrude till this plane okay so i have to come here use this one cut extrude till these surfaces okay this surface that's right okay this is the base and this is the finish okay this is really easy so great this is the the first one okay i get out from here so because i have uh, this file in my computer i wouldn't like to save these changes okay don't save okay now i have to start the second part second part is lower mast let's see <laughs> 